Secretary of State Hillary Clinton cut short her Asian trip today to head to the Middle East where Israel and Palestinian militants who have been fighting in the Gaza Strip are at a crossroads, negotiate some sort of ceasefire or escalate to a ground invasion of Gaza. I'm joined here in the newsroom by David Ignatius for analysis of the situation. But first, we're going to turn to our correspondent in Gaza, Abigail Hausloner. And I should say, while we shoot this, it's early in the afternoon here in D.C., early in the evening in uh, the Middle East. So, Abigail, I know you don't know exactly what's going to happen tonight, but there are rumors, at least, of some sort of ceasefire agreement. There appear to be major barriers to a ceasefire, with both sides asking for things that the other is unlikely to agree to. So would this be that type of agreement or just kind of a, a pause button type ceasefire? It looks at the moment like it's most likely to be a pause button sort of ceasefire, an immediate end to hostilities, and that other conditions would be, uh, I think, both each group hopes worked out over time, which raises the question of how long this will hold. Uh, whether this is an end to just the latest war uh, and a new conflict could start a year from now, two years from now, uh, or whether this is the start of a long-term agreement uh, and actual negotiations for peace. There has been some talk, at least it's a popular line of argument here, that things are different this time. It's a post-Arab Spring conflict. There might be more regional support for Gaza. Is, is that the feeling there, that it's diff different this time or not? I think a lot of Palestinians are here are resigned uh, to this notion that uh, their conflict with Israelis is cyclical. Uh, and, you know, you don't hear a lot of optimism, especially after the fact that this conflict has gone on now for a week. You don't hear a lot of optimism uh, that things are that different this time around. Although I have heard people say uh, that Hamas is stronger, that there is more regional backing, uh, that why many people think. Uh, the Israelis have been more restrained in the, their bombardment of Gaza time around. Okay. Abigail, thanks a lot for your reporting and stay safe. My pleasure. All right. uh, David Iglesias joins me here in the newsroom. Uh, David, what's the calculation that Israel's making tonight? Well, they're trying to decide whether they will get a real cessation of rocket attacks on Israel from Gaza as part of the ceasefire. I don't think without a pledge to stop firing rockets that they will sign off. They've, 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 they've initiated hostilities with that specific cause of action, so, that, so they need that. Uh, what I find interesting and what Abby just reported is the possibility that uh, the regional players, including Egypt under its new Muslim brother, Brotherhood President Mohamed Mursi, and Turkey and Qatar, three Islamic, Islamist governments, uh, may be prepared to work uh, with the U.S. to broker some kind of dialogue with Hamas, which would be a, a platform from which you could have further negotiations that would address the issues Israel cares about, the issues the Palestinians care about. One thing Israel may have accomplished in the last six days is degrading Hamas's capabilities in the Gaza Strip. This gets to something that is often mentioned in, in these conflicts, which is there's an element of this being a proxy fight with Iran. I wonder how you see that element playing into this. This is less a proxy fight with Iran just because the, the Iranian-controlled and allied elements now really are Islamic Jihad, which is a smaller group. Since the war began in Syria, which is where Hamas used to be based, and at that time Hamas was very much a proxy of Iran, uh, Hamas has distanced itself a good deal from Iran. Uh, it still gets some of its weapons from the Iranians, but they have nowhere uh, the same uh, control of action they, they once had. Is there an outcome here to root for? Is it just we hope that the, the killing stops, or is there something more to aspire so to? So I would say, uh, Brooke, that the outcome to root for is something that is more than just another temporary provisional ceasefire that uh, p puts off rocket attacks for some months or years. I'm told that since uh, 2009, since, since that war, there have been more than 3,000 rockets that have been launched on Israel, and Israel finally said enough. You know, that's, that's, that. So they have a new ceasefire. And, and what you want is for that to be the start of something that, that moves not f uh, into a new cycle of new attacks and then retaliation, finally another war, 
but something else that begins to make Israel's borders actually safer and more secure. Okay, David, thanks a lot. Thank you.